So Thursday was a good day for George Osborne. After years of talking about cuts, about having to put in austerity measures, he was able to say that finally, slowly, we're starting to see growth in the economy. Um, for those who are prepared to watch, it was actually a bad day for Ed Balls. He performed very badly in the House. He's been, he's been shown that his idea that the cuts were coming too fast has, been, has, has not been the right approach. But not many people sit and watch the whole autumn statement, and they certainly don't watch the response. And so the fact that it was a good day for the Chancellor and a good day for Balls is lost. And, and it's the detail, the headlines, which we, we need to reflect on. The fact is the two main political parties are taking part in two very different conversations. The Conservatives, are make, and the coalition government are making the case that it's all about growth in the economy. For the Labour Party, for the opposition, it's all about the cost of living crisis. And what you're going to have is these two conversations which the, which the two parties refuse to acknowledge. So at no point are, are, the, are the coalition government going to take on the terms of the debate around cost of living. And no, at no point are the Labour Party going to start talking about um, why growth is going to revive the economy. Um, and in the meantime, we, the consumers, the voters, are stuck in a situation where, because we're all having to live in, a, in, a, in an economy which is recovering, but, but very, very slowly, we all have to take the, the, the burden of those cuts, whether that's working for far longer, whether that's um, looking at um, how much, um, looking at growth which is, is fueled by consumer prices rather than by increased um, opportunities. Um, and I think that's a real challenge. I think on top of that, you've got some few headlines as well, you know, around things, the introduction of some politically um, interesting ideas, um, which are not, might necessarily, which might appeal to voters, but might not necessarily make, um, you know, which actually don't help to, to change them um, and affect the deficit. So, for example, the introduction of uh, universal free school meals for the first few years of primary school. This was a policy which was championed by the Liberal Democrats, um, and it will be seen as one of the bits of uh, clear yellow water between them and, and their coalition partners. Um, but it is an interesting, it is a, um, an unusual choice of policy because it's a huge cost, 600 million to the economy, um, um, to, the, um, to the government, and uh, you know, th in, you know, that's going to have to come from somewhere else in the education budget. Um, similarly, the marriage um, tax break, uh, which was a, a policy which was in the last Conservative manifesto and is championed by the Prime Minister, um, is, is, is actually going to have cost £700 million to introduce. And there is a, as a case that um, you know, for the £300, £400 a year that it was going to be, it's going to benefit people, that money might better be used elsewhere.